welcome to Dr. Putana's teaching. <clears throat> Today you are listening to a sermon, right attitude to the new year. We are just entering into the new year within a few hours of time. We need to have the right attitude to enjoy the year ahead, you know. God is going to bless 2022. But we need to have the right attitude. If we have the right attitude, we enjoy the year ahead of us. Let me encourage you saying that God is always good. But we need to have the right attitude about God and his time that God has given us. Each of us is in a different situation right now because of our various reasons in the context. Some are in complex situation, some may have lost a few battles along the way. Some are experiencing good things from God. Yes. Some of you may, might have experienced bad things, but some of you have experienced good things. It doesn't matter whether bad or good, we need to have the right attitude about God. Whatever challenges you're facing, today is a new day. Every day is a new day, and every day is a special gift from God. Your attitude determines your altitude. It all depends on our attitude, how we look at the time, because God is the source of time. He's the one who provides time. And he's the one who gives time for the rich and the poor, male and female, and whatever the context you are. God has given 24 hours equally to everybody. Isaiah 43, 18 to 19 says, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. Verse 19 says, see, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. See, God is going to make way for you. Do not dwell on the past saying that, hey, I had a bad things and I messed up my life. Look at future. God can turn mess up life as a blessing to you and to family. Jesus' first attitude, stay in the will of God. Stay in the will of God. Jesus stayed in the will of God all through his life. Jesus' first, it's not just a saying expression. It's not about doing religious duties. It's not living a perfect kind of life, but staying in the will of God is important. It's a life in Jesus as manifested in life, character, and service. Life, character, and service. This triune life is most important to every one of us. It's all about Jesus in all areas of life. It's all about Jesus in all areas of life, which is important to all of us. Having a Jesus first attitude will usher people to Christ. That's important. Matthew 6, 33 says, but seek first his kingdom and, all, and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. First seek the kingdom of God and all these things will be given to you as well. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. He will make your paths straight. When? When you trust in him. Number two, live to give generously. Giving helps you to gain. Giving is a biblical principle principle for our benefit. God is a generous God. Why we need to give? God is a generous God. God created us 
to be a giver. God blesses us so that we give to others. God blesses us so that we give to others. A generous man will be blessed. Bible clearly says a generous man will be blessed. Giving leads to fruitfulness. Generous people are joyful people. There are different ways to give. It is more blessed to give than to receive. That's what the Bible says. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. What then? Shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all, who will he not? How will he not also along with him generously give us all things? Yes, he gives us. Genesis 12, 2 to 3 says, I will make you into a great nation and will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you, I'll curse. And all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. God says, all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. A generous man will himself be blessed for he shares his food with the poor. Therefore, give and it will be given to you a good measure. Press down, shaken together and pressing over, running over will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Malachi 3.10 says, bring the whole tithe into the treasure storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that you will not have room enough for it. That you will not have room enough for it. Ezekiel 36, 25 to 27 also says, I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities, from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my degrees and be careful to keep my laws. You know, God gives a heart of flesh so that you will enjoy the presence of God all the time, all the time. Number three, live with enthusiasm. Number one, we talked about live with the right attitude. Number two, live with a giving. And number three, live with enthusiasm. Enthusiasm, being happy about life and what God has ordained for us. Be happy all the time. Life is a special gift from God. You need to be happy for your life. It is believing for more good things in the days ahead. Being grateful to God for what he has done for us. We need to be grateful to God for what he has done for us. That's the reason the Bible says in the Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. 2022 will be a great year for you. Rejoice all the time. It is from two Greek words. The theos meaning inspired by God. And theos means inspired by God. And means inspired by God. Theos means God. Inspired by God. Romans 12, 10 to 11 says, be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual power serving the Lord. Don't just go through the motions in life. Don't just go through motions in life. Have a specific purpose. Have some enthusiasm. Don't just simply go in a routine, job, getting up, going to office, coming back, going to church, coming back. No, have some enthusiasm. Choose to be happy with, live with excellence and integrity. 
every day is a special day. Live with excellence and integrity. Live to inspire others. You know, there is a saying that says, one man's inspiration is 99 men's perspiration. Live to inspire others. Don't discourage others. Don't take for granted God's greatest gift to you. Romans 5, it says, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us. The Lord Jesus inspired these innocent, unschooled disciples. That's the reason they went around the world inspired. Number three, increase your faith. It's our faith that activates the power of God. It's our faith that acts, activates the power of God. Hebrews 11, 6 says, and with our faith, it is possible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Those who earnestly seek him. Have a willing heart in this new year 22. Take initiative to do what God asks you to do. Take initiative to do what God asks you to do. Isaiah 119 says, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the best from the land. You will eat the best from the land if you are willing and obedient. Two things. Willing and obedience leads you to success and you will be prosperous. According to 2 Corinthians 8, 17, just for Titus, not only welcome the appeal, but he is coming to you with much enthusiasm and on his own initiative, on his own initiative. You know, self-motivation is very essential because of gloomy situation everywhere. We need to be motivated by ourselves. There will not be anybody who push you inside. You need to push yourself. Make a difference. Jesus first. Give generously. Give generously. This is what I wanted to do very quickly. Make a difference in this 2020 year. Make Jesus first and give generously. May God bless you and have a blessed new year 2022.